What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master here on this Saturday, November 5th, 2022. It's about 11.55 a.m. California time and the latest quake out here shows uh, looks like a 2.5 along the west coast. Uh, this comes after a 3.1 over here around Missouri. Uh, just coming in within the last few minutes as well. There is the earthquake out there around Missouri. Uh, this is right around the New Madrid zone, uh, just outside of the main area, looking at the uh, seismic hazard area. Uh, of course, here within the red is the uh, New Madrid zone itself, kind of sitting just right outside of it to the west, a few miles, about 100 miles or so. Uh, kind of a somewhat larger earthquake than what we've seen in the uh, past couple months most of the activity we see out here in this area of the world or in this area of the states are very small uh, earthquakes under 2.5 but uh, 3.1 coming in here within the last hour actually just within about the last 10 minutes or so let's see what we got for this earthquake uh, as far as felt reports uh, looking at the did you fill it reports here looks like a couple folks did report filling that earthquake uh, out there and um, it has been reviewed by a seismologist, so this should stand far as the magnitude and the level uh, below the surface goes. The depth, 3.7 kilometers for that earthquake. All right, let's see what else we got cooking out here today. It looks like uh, West Coast kind of lighting up as well. That uh, earthquake around the geyser area kind of ramping up over the last couple days here. Seeing that swarm kick up all over the calpine hydrothermal operations out here and there's a there's a number of them uh, situated out here around cobb mountain these are the uh, plants or facilities that uh, generate some uh, power by injecting raw sewage below there's quite a few of these uh, operations out here and uh, there's a bunch of earthquakes here today quite a bit uh, including some twos in the mix all right what else we got here northern california oregon border uh, north, or actually just west of Doris, it looks like, a 2.0 at 11 kilometers deep. Kind of an odd earthquake um, up there off the, of these uh, little fault systems here. It looks like the Cedar Mountain Fault System. Uh, that's well north of Mount Shasta. Mount Shasta looks clear for now. No major earthquake activity or, or any type of activity to report. Uh, one earthquake up into the eastern Washington area 1.7 at 8.5 kilometers deep outside of mount rainier uh, the rest of california a little spotty activity as we head south of the clear lake volcanic field um, not a whole lot to report overnight uh, as far as 2.5 and above goes looks like all that activity around the clear lake volcanic field is uh, about it uh, looks like they did see a 3.2 as well uh, that one coming in yesterday one earthquake over here around Ridgecrest, um, 2.6, looks like earlier this morning time frame. Aside from that, a couple small microquakes throughout the Southern California area. Not looking at any type of uh, major swarming currently in that area. Las Vegas, a little bit of activity kicking up here. Uh, more so around the Rock Valley area than uh, these areas down south. And not a whole lot, uh, just some microquakes it looks like kicking up in that area currently. Yellowstone National Park, nothing being listed up here on the map, but it is a weekend, so they will only report 2.5 and above. Uh, looking at the local seismic activity map here, only shows a handful uh, very small quakes across the northwest corner of the park. Looking at the Pitchstone Plateau area, we did see a pretty good swarm of activity kick up here yesterday, and that's kind of about the end of it right here. Uh, overnight and today so far, things have really mellowed out. Uh, with that earthquake swarm that kind of kicked up in a big way. Uh, looking at the previous day here, I'll show you guys real quick. This map uh, definitely had quite a bit of earthquake activity. I'm kind of curious to see what uh, uh, the USGS will report on this. This is kind of in an area that was away from our main swarming, which was situated up here towards the northwest. Uh, this area sits roughly within the southern end of the Yellow Yellowstone caldera. All right, let's see what else we have here. A little spotty activity throughout uh, Texas. 
pretty quiet across the Caribbean plate here, not noticing a whole lot of activity. South America, roughly about the same. We did have, oh, looks like a couple earthquakes earlier this morning, a 5.0 and a 4.3. The last one, pretty deep though, 165 kilometers into the Peru Chile Trench there, uh, up into the Alaska area. Uh, getting a little bit of movement up north of the um, uh, Denali area and also right through the Cook Inlet, portions of it. Not a whole lot of activity kicking up, just a very typical day. I don't believe we've seen any further activity up north here. Uh, looks like, yeah, it kind of looks like maybe in one more uh, at about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning my time. Up north, way up north, we've been seeing a little bit of uh, a little bit of odd activity kicking up there in that region recently. Throughout the um, southwestern portion of the Pacific Ring of Fire, looks like uh, yeah, it looks like only one earthquake here to report overnight. Early this morning, it looks like 5.0 near the Solomon Islands region, and uh, over here around the Philippines, uh, looks like we had another 5.1 here along the Philippine Trench, 51 kilometers deep. This activity, the other activity there listed is from yesterday. Not a whole lot of movement further west. Uh, looks like we did have another earthquake around the Greece area early this morning again, about a 4.0. And down into the South Africa area, a 4.6 at 9.8 kilometers deep. Not a whole lot of activity uh, normally takes place down here, but occasionally we do see it, and that's uh, going to be one of them today. Uh, around the South Sandwich Islands there, looks like a 4.9 last night. 10 kilometers deep for that earthquake. So yeah, this is rather interesting right here watching this earthquake. A 3.1 there around the New Madrid zone. So things are still kind of active out there. I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Uh, let's see what else we got here for movement. Uh, Yellowstone, there's not a whole lot going on. The trimmer map last night was uh, pretty minimal. Only 20 epicenters there into the Cascadia subduction zone. That's the uh, uh, area that sits just off the northern California coast up to the uh, uh, right about the Vancouver Island ranges here. That is a major subduction zone between the North American plate and the Juan de Fuca plate here uh, to the west. Building up a lot of strain see what we got here for the um, Mount St. Helens area for as seismic activity goes. This is over the last couple of weeks has been kind of like an ongoing swarm of activity there. And uh, that's it's been that way for a couple months. Uh, checking out today's seismic activity. Go ahead and see what it's uh, see what's going on here. I think they're getting some snow up north. Quite a bit of snow. Uh, not a whole lot. Maybe a couple earthquakes here. We've got one blue one on the blue line. A couple other smaller ones here as well. But uh, no major swarm to note there at the Mount St. Helens region. Space weather events, uh, pretty calm currently. As far as the solar flare activity goes, not seeing a whole lot of uh, further development. I still think we have to watch these new areas rotating into view uh, closely. They do look somewhat promising there on their fields, so we'll keep an eye on that definitely as we head towards next week. And uh, no major solar weather events expected far as the coronal hole activity goes. The forecast goes to a green uh, forecast here after today. Uh, current conditions are mellowing out on the KP index with only very minimal auroras on, uh, on the 30-minute forecast there. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it, folks. I'm going to jump off here. i got a few things i got to do today. I'm going to get busy with some schoolwork, catch up on some schoolwork here, and I will uh, let me bring that back down. I'll definitely be monitoring the activity out here on the, um, on the globe and, of course, worldwide activity. Uh, by the way, we have listed over here. On the charts, uh, we've got uh, Dinsmore, California right here, which is in Northern California. Uh, Hot Caves is Hawaii. Yellowstone National Park, a couple small spikes there in Wyoming. Got a station here in Taiwan. Uh, a Puerto Rico station as well. 
And the Southern California area has shown some movement there at Barrett. A couple of small spikes there today, it looks like. Stationed here in Chile. And New Zealand uh, kicking up here on the graphs. Uh, again, Densmore is my backup station for Petrolia because Petrolia sometimes does not work. Uh, it's a station I monitor just outside of Eureka uh, for seismic activity there in Northern California. But uh, Densmore works just as fine uh, for now. All right, guys, have a good day. Cooler temperatures out here in California today, so I'm kind of loving it. Chance of rain. And um, that's about it. Have a good day. We'll chat you guys tonight. Peace out.